Hey guys, it's Channing with SCP. So after we did a blowout style, I went in. I'm gonna show you my signature look. This is how all my clients leave the salon. It's just pretty much a beach wave, but on Instagram, this is how I pose all my models. This is the style out that they have. I get people telling me that when they see a post on Instagram, they know, oh, that's that's your post right away. That's, that's a Channing hairstyle because of the way I curl hair. So this is the way that I do it few tips on how to curl but make it however you want to make it your own this is my holy grail curling iron this is the bioionic long barrel make sure you get the long barrel especially if you have longer hair or extension clients it is a lifesaver this is the one inch there's also a 1.25 and I use that on people with even longer hair okay so you're gonna want to make sure that the clip is always facing the mirror when you start on the front of the face, the clip should always be facing forward. That way you can roll the barrel back. I'm gonna start with small sections. Starting with her money piece. I'm gonna grab, especially because her hair's a little bit curlier. Sometimes I would start in the middle here, but I'm gonna start in the root of her hair to smooth it and then just roll it back. Making sure that the barrel is always vertical, never horizontal, and then pulling through the ends. It should be really loose and we're gonna let it sit. Don't ever brush it out. If your client tries to brush it out, just tell them not to. Again, taking a small section. My curling iron is vertical and rolling backwards. I like this curling iron because there is a place to hold it at the top. And then straight through the ends. I'm not curling out the ends. We don't want it to look like Shirley Temple. We want it to look like a beach wave. At the top, again, smoothing. And I'm just rotating the barrel. I'm never wrapping the hair on top of the strand itself. I'm just wrapping and then slowly letting it go and pulling through. And then pull through the ends to smooth the ends. These first couple sections by her face, I'm going away from the face. Once I hit behind the ear, that's when I'll start alternating. It takes a little while to get down, but once you get it, it's muscle memory. I feel like a lot of my clients ask to record while I'm curling so that they can go home and look at it. So this is my last section here in front of the ear. So I'm going backwards. All of this should go away from the face. I'm not wrapping it, pulling it out pulling it out, pulling it out, and pulling through. If you're just starting with this curling iron, I would make sure the heat is a little bit lower. I use it at 390 because I'm moving so fast. If you're not moving fast, if you're just learning, I would turn the heat down. Here, away from the face. Pulling through. Okay, now that we're behind the ear, I'm going to go forward. So now, instead of my clip facing the mirror, I'm gonna face it away from the mirror. So we're gonna go forward. This is gonna push all of the hair that we just curled backwards towards the face. So both sides, this side is curled away from the face, this side is curled away from the face, and everything behind the ear, I'm going to alternate opposite directions, and that's gonna give it more of a beachy look rather than all the curls going the same direction. The reason why I really like this curling iron is that the heat is evenly distributed throughout the entire iron. So when you put a piece of hair on the iron, it's gonna get curled so fast, you don't have to hold it, it's not gonna singe your hair. It curls it so fast, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to curl your hair. Alternating, now this piece is gonna go forward and I'm just pulling through. Unwrapping, pulling, unwrapping, pulling. A lot of curling irons and flat irons only have one hot spot on the iron that is supposed to heat up the entire rod. I'm not a big fan of those just because no matter where the hair hits, if it hits on that hot spot, that is what is taking a huge brunt of the heat rather than a curling iron like this where it is even, 
evenly distributed, it's gonna make a big difference in the health of your hair if you're curling your hair every day. Alternating back and forth, making sure to keep those ends straight. And it's up to you how much of the ends you want to keep straight. Some people do, you know, just a little bit. I've seen people that do three or four inches at the end, keeping it straight. flyaways especially for blondes because blondes have more breakage um, most heads have flyaways so what we're gonna do is just go in with this dart stick and lay down any flyaways it's gonna make a big difference too when you're going in to edit your pictures before using this I used to have to go in and edit so many of my pictures because there would be like one flyaway hair and it's all I could look at so this helps a lot and it's not going to weigh down the hair very much. It's just going to really polish it to make it look clean without making it look sticky. All right, guys, now we got a beach look. Keep in mind if you have extensions in or your client has extensions in when you're curling with any sort of wand or curling iron, you're gonna wanna take a piece of the client's hair and the extension hair and curl it together. I think that's a huge mistake that I see people make is they curl the extensions and the natural hair separately and that's a dead giveaway that the client has extensions. So just curling everything together is gonna make a huge difference. This is our look today. Thank you guys.